Good morning and welcome to Corthwaite Hall. Um, as you can see, we have a rather spectacular building behind us. This is a Grade 2 listed Victorian Gothic Revival mansion house. And it's even, it's claim to fame is that the, one of the favourite nephews of Queen Victoria actually lived here. Um, and it's quite well documented. So if you buy here, you could be a part of a royal household. The house that we have behind us has been used for a myriad of things over the years, but latterly has been used as a part wedding venue, has been used as a main house residence, and has also been used as a um, luxury b, &B um, which does it incredibly well. But the first thing that I want to, the first part of this story that I want to paint is, this is a spectacular main residence. So if you want a nice private area with a beautiful house in beautiful grounds in a very accessible location, then this is for you. If you're looking for a wedding venue, which has got a proven track record uh, that um, has a huge orangery, which has been built to be able to have um, a, a 60 to 70 seater wedding venue, then this is for you as well. Also, if you're looking at a live work environment, which is very popular, um, you have a massive area that you could use as office space, as workshop space, as all sorts of things. And just to add icing to the cake, you have an equestrian facility with various stable blocks, a rubberized menage, um, and plenty of other land to be able to go with it. And I'm gonna go for one more last thing. By a separate negotiation, if you wanted to create your own income stream to be completely fully self-sufficient financially here, there is a lodge park that is adjoining, that has got no impact on this main house whatsoever, but if you wanted to, you could run that, and there's nine lodges, all very new, bringing in a significant income, and has expansion potential and full consent to be able to make another nine. <sighs> I can breathe now. So much with this house to be able to show, and the last thing I'm gonna probably add into this, the most, amazing staircase I have ever seen in all of my 25 years of doing this. So without further ado, Corthwaite Hall, here we come. Okay, so let's come and have a look in. So we have this very, very gothic, almost vestibule to the front, which leads up to a uh, rather beautiful entrance. Then we enter into the main house, we have what I promised was one of the most spectacular staircases I've ever seen. Would you like to take it away and show the show everybody around? Look at this, it's absolutely fantastic. So, I didn't lie, spectacular I think is the only word that we can put to that. Um, this is the most unusual staircase I think I've ever seen. I mean, I know you've just panned up, but if you pan right up to the top there, we've got one of the most unusual kind of, I've never seen this construction before in a house. So whoever decided that this staircase was gonna befit this property when they built it, really truly wanted to make a statement and I think they did it very well. So let's have a look around the uh, floor of here. So I'm not gonna show you every room. There's over 10,000 square feet of accommodation. If I was to do that, I'd have to hire David Attenborough to narrate it for us. So I'm thinking if we show you some of the main principal rooms, and then when you come to view, then you can get to see the rest. So let's start through here. So there's a dual entrance into this sitting room, um, and what a spectacular space. Um, the things that first hit me when I came in here were um, these uh, arched Gothic revival windows. It's a um, very large, imposing room, lots of high ceilings, beautiful fireplace, and the one thing I can say, outside today, this is a very cold Cumbrian day, beautiful day, but a cold day. Inside this house, it is absolutely toasty. So I think once you're heated, then you stay heated very well. And the current owners were saying that their actual heating costs, considering the size of the property, are not significant. So that's something that is always good to bear in mind with a property of this age. So if we come back through here, get another quick glance at the staircase as we go through. <clears throat> we have a very nice dining room, quite substantial in size. Again, another open fireplace. And this beamwork at the top, which is, uh, which is rather lovely. And there's a lot of height in this space. So it feels very grand, as it should, because it's a very grand house. So let's have a look at the sitting room at the front. 
which you get in a very nice, comfortable, large space, and I could imagine that a roaring fire being something very nice on a winter's day. So now we're going to wander all the way up the stairs, and uh, because I'm guaranteed to be able to breath through it, I'm going to actually pause this part and then take you to the next landing. So a not out of breath, day, breath David Britton, um, but we've made it all the way to the top of the stairs. So Donna, have a peek down here. If you suffer with vertigo, that would probably be a problem, but actually it's that majestic, it's very difficult not just to admire it. So we're gonna walk around here. So we've got a few bedrooms to have a look at on this floor. And there's, as you can appreciate, in a 10,000 square foot house, there's a significant amount of bedroom space. And um, coming into one of the larger bedrooms, which are all fairly similar to be fair, We've got an absolutely beautiful space, very nicely decorated, very befitting this period of property, and a very significant space. Just behind this door, we've got um, a, a doorway that leads through to a bathroom, so you can make this en suite as well. In here, we have another large bedroom, very, very period furniture, very fitting the age of this property. But again, a nice, lovely space. This um, bedroom here has a shower room. A rather impressive four poster room. And that finishes this room for the tour. And coming around here, one of the larger bedrooms, well, actually, you can see the bathroom first. But, uh, Nice size family bathroom. And a very regal looking bedroom with this rather spectacular four poster bed. But this also comes with a, an ensuite, which is fitted out to a nice standard. And the last room on this floor that we're going to take a peek at has. Um... Okay. So in the other room that was across the hall, there was a doorway that was adjoining the bathroom. So there's a, an, an ensuite here, but it could easily be a Jack and Jill ensuite. And then this rather beautiful room. I really like this room. There's a lot of sun from here. It overlooks the gardens to the front. And again, lovely high ceilings, great fireplace, a very, very nice area. And I'm gonna finish on this uh, stairway just because Absolutely spectacular, isn't it? So we're now going to go up here, which is referred to as the doll's house room. And there's several bedrooms up there. I'm not going to show you many of them, but um, that space kind of uh, does very much look like a doll's house when you're up there. So let's uh, go up the stairs and have a look at that. Okay, so we are in the doll's house area. And as you can see from the video that Donna's just done, or panned up, we are some height up here. But it's absolutely beautiful. All of these rooms are all double rooms and they're all great guest accommodation and are a really integral part of this. If I was a guest staying here, um, it, well, it's spectacular. And this domed roof as well is something very, very special. We're now gonna take you to see the West Wing, which is a self-contained apartment, which is still within this building. Okay, so this is the West Wing. So what we actually have is a three bedroom apartment, which is currently holiday there. They get up to 2,000 pounds a week for letting this out. So again, if you wanted to have that income stream, this is an excellent extra piece of revenue. So quite a significant bedroom size. And I'm gonna race through this, otherwise this video will be about an hour long. <laughs> um, we have a really lovely sized sitting room. And I think you can see that it would be very nice to come and stay here um, so you can understand why this is so well let out. Um, we have a further bedroom in here, which is a decent twin room, but actually a very big double. Um, there's a bath there that's been fitted, so it's not normally there. Um, there's another big four poster room with plenty of space. And then finally for this area, we have, um, oh, through here, we have a nice kitchen diner, which is uh, a lovely usable area and finishes off the west wing of this property. Okay, so in a house of this age, 
quite often you would have had staff working here, butlers, maids, etc, etc. So this side of the house is that accommodation. These are the staircases that would have led up to the owner's accommodation, sorry, to the um, servant's accommodation very, very long time ago, but back in the day. Now that was where the west wing was, where the um, other uh, rooms were there for the three bedroom apartment. So we have storage areas, we have um, then what would be the, the butler's parlor, um, which uh, would have been back in the uh, 19th century. This would have been quite a pivotal room in the house, um, that, which is uh, nice that it still exists. And things like uh, keeping everything safe and secure in here um, was a very important part. And then we come through into the rear part of the house. There's lovely studded doors. Um, and then um, other doors leading through to utility room and a large storage room. So I'm going to take you into the kitchen now. And now the heart of the home. We have a lovely handmade um, country kitchen. Um, this was installed about 10 years ago or so. And um, we've got a great space here. Um, they even managed to save um, the original tiles that were on the floor, which is lovely. Um, as the current owners use this as a, um, a kitchen, well, we all live in the kitchen if we can. But we've also got a lovely sitting room to the side here, um, which is an absolutely great space. And behind here is a doorway that leads back through to where the uh, main accommodation is. So we've got a, I would like to say snog, but it's not. It's bigger than most people's sitting rooms. But it's a great, usable space directly next to the kitchen. And if you did have this as a wedding venue and you were whole house letting the rest of it, this gives you plenty of accommodation here uh, to be able to get away from everyone whilst you're still making your income stream. Failing that, you have a fantastic kitchen, loads of reception rooms, and this excellent sitting room to be able to sit and enjoy this part of the house. So that kind of covers the house, but we've now got a, um, an, a cottage to look at, and we have another building which does have consent to be uh, made into another property. So we're gonna go across there and have a look now. Okay, so this is um, a small section of garden, nice and warm, so quite private. We've also got a heated swimming pool in here, which uh, many of the guests that stay here very much enjoy. So that's quite a nice little view. Oh, and a bit of a hot tub as well. But as we walk up here, I'm going to just wander across and show you the cottage. It's just, a, it's just across the street. Okay, so this is a small holiday cottage. Got. Well, actually, it's not that small. Come on, have a look. Um, this was uh, um, built or renovated a, a little while ago and has been, again, very successfully let out as a holiday let. Let's put some lights on. Um, so we've got quite a large kitchen, dining, sitting room, um, so absolutely bags of space, plenty, plenty of area for a, uh, for a holiday. And then there's a loo in here, and if we follow through to this room here, we've got, they're in a changeover period at the moment, so the beds are not made, but this is a, um, a quite a nice space, complete with an ensuite. But then we'll have a look upstairs. The bedroom up here is a decent size. And nice size double. And there's a bathroom to the back there. Which completes this offering. So let's uh, go and have a look at the uh, remaining parts. When, as you come around to the side here, you have a very nicely decked out area. Um, and this, as I said, has been used for a wedding venue. And then we have this lovely building, which has been built um, only within the last few years. And this has been the kind of quite private um, wedding area where people have come in and then had the receptions in this space. This seats around about 60 to 70 people comfortably, has a professional bar, has a kitchen to the rear of it. But as a wedding venue, spectacular. But also, maybe as an office space, I could run my company here very comfortably. And it is a multi-usable space that, yeah, shouldn't just be considered for one option, it could be considered for many. So the next stage of this property is looking at some of its outside space. So we have here a great menage. There are several stables, um, but there's also maybe the potential for development within them. So 
if you look, we've got a full drained and rubberized uh, menage here and arena, which is perfect. Um, and then with the, what would have come with the original building is this rather large stable block, um, which is uh, perfectly set out if you're looking for something from an equestrian perspective. So I hope you'll uh, appreciate that that is one heck of a tour. There is so much here, um, so much history, so much character. Uh, it's a majestic property. The grounds are spectacular. The village location is amazing. And this is a bit of a survivor. It hasn't been chopped up into flats or broken into pieces. This is a real country house with a royal lineage. It's an incredible place and I feel very privileged to have been here today. Welcome to Corthwaite. Um, question. Have you ever dreamt of owning your own leisure facility? Have you ever dreamt of owning your own lodge park? Well, maybe that dream could come true. What we have is nine units and they're quite unusual, but fairly new. Um, and we have a lodge park centered in the middle of a village in a pretty location with further expansion potential to be able to create another nine units. This turns over a significant amount of money and the profit margin for here makes this an incredibly viable business. So let's walk through and I'll see if I can get us into one as well. So we've got um, a nice little side office for when people come to visit. And then we've got a few of these newer, very high quality um, lodges. Um, and as you can see down the bottom, we've got a, one very large lodge. But we've got these little pods as well, which I've never seen. Um, so each one of these comes with a hot tub fitted. And then you've got these Rather nice little pods. Now, I uh, actually went in to have a look at one the other day and they're actually amazing. They're quite cool, I'd come and stay here. And today they seem to be complete with peacocks as well. But each one of these little pods have a, and this one I think over here has a little awning. They've got an undercover area with a hot tub. And these lodges are beautiful. They're in um, absolutely spotless condition. But this place is chocker block and the turnover here is significant but it comes with this extra. If you just imagine that all of the hard work with the um, road surfaces and the infrastructure is already done. And at the end here, we've got another consent to expand this by another nine units and it's fully consented. So that means that you can get here, take the rewards of this already established site, or you can take it a little further. You don't have to live on site. They have people that come and look after everything for you. So that means that you can retain everybody that already does the work here, bring in quite a significant income stream, but own your own lodge park. How amazing is that? So I'm gonna try and show you a couple of these. So um, bear with me a minute and I'll get some open for you. So just over here, as I said before, is where the next nine have got full consent, if you wanted to do that. And then let's have a look in one of these. So this is a lovely double size. When we come inside, it's better a lot of houses I've been in. It's absolutely huge, very nice, lovely and light. And if you look out the window, the window here, Donna, um, you've got uh, nice views over towards the fells, which is lovely. I'll show you the rest. Nice contemporary style kitchen, all of the appliances that you could need. Um, we've got in here, um, a, sorry, a bedroom. That surprised me, these doors are very, very heavy. So it shows that they're good quality. Lovely bathroom. bathroom. And then finally, um, a large double bedroom, complete with a shower to the rear. So, nine current units in total, a huge profit margin here, as well as a lot of repeat business, the potential to expand, fantastic commercial offering. Um, and if you are interested in this, please do give us a call on 01768 881111. Um, you don't have to live here. This is important to mention. For the investment of this, you don't have to live here for this to run, but the return on investment is quite significant. However, if you live in the village or live very locally, then this can become a business which is very self-propelling. Uh, excellent opportunity, again, do ring us if you're interested, 01768 881111. Thank you.